Boy, today we're going to see a clerk have to fight for his life in a phone booth. Hi everyone, welcome to today's lesson here at Active Cell Protection. I'm your host as always, John Correa. Today's video comes to us from Staten Island, New York. Big Tech's Ordnance is my go-to source for accessories for all your defensive and competition firearms. They have great holsters with accessories for concealment and ship fast at great prices. I'm a proud customer and recommend them without hesitation. Clerk on the right there is just chilling in this bodega and it is gonna happen really fast. This guy comes around the, the counter there and just starts whooping on him. And now you can see they are in a hugely difficult standing grappling fight. And our clerk's gonna put up a hell of a fight here and, and try to get away from this guy. Guy's gonna hit him over the head with a the bottle there. He's got that bottle in his hand. And, and you're gonna see the guy bonk him on the forehead several times. They go to the ground, the clerk gets top position, but the guy ends up choking him out and stealing several thousand dollars from the till. The clerk was hurt moderately and police are still looking for this perp. All right, question for you. When's the last time you took some empty handed skills? Are you getting regular training or just kind of one offs? I want to hear from you in the comments. Even if police find this perp, it will not bring justice or erase what happened to this clerk. Only you in the moment can keep the emotional trauma of this to a minimum by protecting yourself. So you got to remember, number one, no one's coming to save you. Number two, you are the primary agent in your own rescue. Number three, you have to have the attitude, the skills, and the plan to overcome this kind of attack. No one else is going to be able to do it for you, which means you have to do the work. They don't come, the combat fairy's not gonna come bonk you on the head and give you competence. Now the clerk's not paying attention to him because he's distracted and the guy absolutely bum rushes him here. So this is why emotional fitness is so important because when that first blast happens, can you stay mentally present in the moment? Truly the goal of emotional fitness is that you're not thinking about what did happen, but what is happening and what you're going to do to put yourself in a better position moving forward. It's a radical acceptance of reality and the ability to cope with what just happened so that you can stay present and, and fight from this position because you're at a significant disadvantage. And our clerk actually does that here is that he gets into this grappling, standing, dirty boxing, grappling position. And, and those are all phases of a fight. So yes, there's grappling here. Dirty boxing is, is a part of that. It's one of the things that I think MMA is best at is that kind of up against the cage, dirty boxing, grappling kind of combination. And having some of that in your repertoire, really, really good. And also the ability to get a hold of this guy because he can here get an overhook. So you know, he'd rather kind of have unders in this case, but watch as they're fighting here. Our clerk doesn't really know what to do with this guy, but right here, he has the ability to underhook or, or rather overhook. I'm sorry for the miscommunication there. The overhook of this guy's hand to keep him from being able to hit you with that bottle. Not only that, if he has the skill set to, to overhook into a wizard, he can now control this guy and start to dominate him and get him down on the ground and start to do some things. But all that takes some time on the mats and knowing that technique, knowing when it's available and it's there, takes actual training. So please friends, get on the mats, get to training. And, and he's gonna end up here actually in a pretty good position as the guy is trying to beat the tar out of him. He gets a couple of good spots on here. And then in the scramble to the ground, our clerk actually here is going to end up in top position. Hallelujah. Yes, having some grounded grappling skills, really good. Knowing how to use them when you don't have a big open mat around you, really good. Knowing how to fight from top position to dominance, really, really good. And even if you are a tool carrier, and I certainly recommend that this clerk would be a firearms carrier, uh, in, and even in New York now, you can do that. It has to be shall issue under the law is important because you want to keep from getting choked out, friends. And, and you've got to practice those skills and do that again and again in real kind of environments. And that just means getting on the mats. That means getting in uncomfortable positions. That means learning those things so that you don't end up choked out and your life being significantly at risk. Let's learn and do better here to cover our ASP. 